everyone, I'm here to do a quick spoiler-free review of The Sandcastle Empire by Kayla Olson. Now this is the book that we included in our June Make It Out Alive box, and it was a lot of fun, so let's get into it. Now in this book we follow Eden, who is a girl who previously had quite a privileged life until there was a revolution that happened in the United States because of environmental collapse, and this new group called the Wolf Pack takes over and basically imprisons and makes slaves out of everybody. For two years now Eden has been plotting a way to get off of the mainland United States in search of this island called Sanctuary Island that her dad informed her existed before he passed away two years previous. Apparently Sanctuary Island is a refuge that is a neutral territory between this revolutionary wolf pack group and the government. One day Eden does find herself able to escape in stealing a boat with three other girls and they manage to make their way to this mysterious island where things are not as they seem. On the very first night on the island the girls fall asleep and when they wake up in the morning one of them has gone missing and from there they all decide they're gonna search for their missing friend because they need to stick together as a group. So going into this book I was definitely expecting a fast-paced dystopian and sci-fi story and that is definitely what was delivered but it also has a very large focus on this group of four friends. When these girls first meet it is on the boat to the island and they kind of come together as a team and although they don't necessarily have the biggest love for each other at first because they are all come from different walks of life um, they definitely grow to be very loyal to one another. And even though they had only been together for a few days by the time one of them goes missing it's definitely an obvious choice for them to go to look for her on this island that is terrifying and not what it seems. Not very long into this book you also run into another group of characters that really enrich the dynamic of the relationships between these people. It is written in such a way that you're never really sure who you can trust or if characters are even responsible for their own actions at all. I also really appreciated the setting of Sanctuary Island itself because it almost felt like its own character. Now when people compare this book to Lost that is definitely accurate when it comes to the island itself. It's so full of this weird technology that seems kind of primitive but also new. It has so many traps and triggers and obstacles and interacting with all of these things has very real consequences. A lot of the technology on this island never clearly gets explained and it's very eerie and very atmospheric. The plot itself is incredibly edge of your seat and you're definitely going to want to keep turning the pages and the chapters are really short which made me fly through this book. I feel like there's so much going on in this book that doesn't necessarily get properly explained and I think that's on purpose and I definitely wouldn't be sad if they turned this into a series but I was also satisfied but a little bit curious at the end. I'm definitely happy they are turning this into a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio set to produce it as it's just such an interesting interesting look at a society after an environmental collapse and what's gonna go down. If you're looking for a fast-paced, edge-of-your-seat science fiction dystopian story, I would definitely recommend picking up The Sandcastle Empire. All right, so that's it for my review portion of this video, but now I just want to tell you about our next Twitter chat, which we call Owl Babble, and that's gonna be happening on July 22nd, this next Saturday, at 5 p.m. Pacific time with the author of The Sandcastle Empire, Kayla Olson. Now, Owl Babble is always spoiler-free, but the questions are going to be inspired by the plot of The Sandcastle Empire. I hope you can join us this coming Saturday. I will leave all of the details for that down in the description box below. All right, so that's it for this little review video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our channel. Happy reading and thanks for being awesome. Bye!